National Cemetery. On behalf of my director and the staff here, I would like to express to each of you our deepest condolences on the loss of your loved ones. I would also like to thank you for choosing Riverside National Cemetery for both of your loved ones' final resting place. <coughs> At this time, military honors will be conducted by the United States Air Force, which include rifle volleys, plane attacks, and folding and presenting of our flag. If you're sensitive to the loud noises, I do encourage you to cover your ears for the rifle volley. And with our veterans, you may render one final salute during the plane and tap. As all others, please place your right hand over your heart and face our flag. And family, if you're able to at this time, please stand for military honor.
I would also like to present to both of you three shells from today's rifle bombing that were fired in honor of your father's honorable and Family and friends, this does conclude the military honors portion of our service today. Sir, thank you. For over 150 years, our nation has honored their fallen patriots and, and uh, in, in her national cemeteries. You can see here where trees and water and rock and granite walls and solemn memorials to the men and women who answered the call of this country. Each gave themselves for a sake of freedom. Some paid ultimate price, some lived through. Served many years, others were, were short 10 years, like Howard, and then went on and continued to work on airplanes. Today, we have come into this garden of stone and trees and water to honor Howard Ogden, the United States Air Force Tech Sergeant served in, in our nation was was uh, and, and he earned his place for the hallowed shrines that he is here please bow with me father our gathering today is a solemn place to render and to celebrate the life of howard Ogden, as well as grieve his passing from this earth God, we ask that in your infinite wisdom that you would comfort every family member, friend, and colleague here today. May they be encouraged by fond memories and purpose in their hearts to seek you this day, on this day, while you may be found today. Amen. Amen. Thank you for getting that to me. Howard Ogden died in at age 86, resident of Murrieta, California. He was preceded in death by his wife of 60 years, Marie, who he is here too, who will rest in eternity with him at, at this site. Well, he joined uh, the United States Air Force in 1954. He did this and he trained in Samson Air Force Base in New York. After basic training, he was sent to a student of aircraft mechanic at Shepard Air Force uh, Base in Texas. November 12, 1954, uh, he was assigned to the 77th Squadron EFB uh, in South Dakota. He spent about a year up there, then he was promoted uh, to Airman Second Class. Howard served in Guam, where my grandson is, right now, serving, uh, in 1955, September 1, 1956. He was uh, appointed to uh, the 77th Bomb Squadron in South Dakota. So he went to Guam, hot, to South Dakota, where it was cold. In 1957, he went Boeing in Seattle, Washington, and he was certified by them over at the, over Bo Boeing as a B-52 aircraft mechanic. And we learned some people who made the B-52 over Boeing. 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 Aircraft mechanic was promoted to staff sergeant. My grandson just got June 1, 1961. He was promoted to tech sergeant. And he was honorably discharged from the United States Air Force in 1964. But that wasn't true of the service. After discharge from the military, active duty, he met and married beautiful Marie. They moved from West Virginia to Arizona in 1966 for Howard to be able to pursue his career aviation. He worked in many airlines, including the Western Airlines, uh, Flying Tigers, Air California, Flight Engineer for the 
Los Angeles Dodgers, 1967 to 69, uh, on their Electra. Anybody know what an Electra is? <laughs> Only those of us that are a little old, older know what that is. Uh, after the Dodgers sold the airport, uh, the airplane, uh, Howard worked for McCulloch International. They went back to Air California, not now American Airlines. So, isn't that the history? He was a director of training training and uh, chief flight engineer on the L-188 and the B-737. In 1984, Howard undertook his own project and started an airline called Total Air. He ultimately sold out to his park department uh, partners. Uh, he then accepted 18th month position in Hawaii here. That was nice. From the desert to the ocean. And he lived in Waikiki for 18 months. Therefore, he retired and moved to Murrieta, which is south of here. Uh, he has done some counseling jobs over the years, but then he decided to fully retire. He was loved by many, I can see. Respected by all, and he will be missed by his family. Um, we didn't get a list of the family, but if you are a family member, please raise your hand. Thank you. Thank you. Psalm 23 tells us by the great sage David, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside, beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they come. You prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. My head is anointed with oil. My cup from runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life, and you will dwell in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. And in the New Testament, it tells us that for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God. This is in Thessalonians, first Thessalonians. And the dead in Christ shall rise. That's those who are already in the ground. Then they will, those who are alive and remain, still shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever will be with the Lord in heaven. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. For your Son, for the promise of precious gift of eternal life and for the comfort of the Holy Spirit today in the midst of natural sorrow for our lost we thank you for the supernatural grace in facing death we thank you for the promise of life ever back and in the face of separation we thank you for the assurance of eternal reunion we thank you for Howard's life and Marie's life here on earth and we recognize that their bodies are not ashes before us and Howard is in heaven with Marie they're together they're moving around in heaven they're in the, etern the eternally house home provided for them Heaven. We acknowledge that Howard and Marie is with God now, enjoying the blessings of heaven. So, Father, we now commit the bodies, the ashes, really, Howard and Marie, tech sergeant of the United States Air Force. Genesis says, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, shall not the great judge of all the earth do right by Howard and Marie. And now looking forward to that day, we can all rejoice together 
and be thankful that we are not a people without hope or comfort at this time. We thank you for making your presence very real to each family member and friend here today, and we ask that you will especially strengthen, sustain them in the days, weeks, and months to come. For it is in your name that I pray. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord makes his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance to you, upon you, and give you peace. Family, this does conclude the service here at Riverside National Cemetery. Your loved one's gravesite will be available after 4 p.m. for visitation as the actual interment process is done in private. But we're open every day of the year from sunrise to sunset. And if you ever come out and have trouble locating your loved one's gravesite, we're here to assist during hours and on off hours. We have a kiosk at our front administration building. And family, I want to thank you for allowing me to be here a part of your family today. We honored.